Hi, my name is Dave Ranji, and I'd like to introduce you to my website, AskTheElectrician.com. This website focuses on do-it-yourself electrical wiring, which is valuable for students and even other electrical contractors and general contractors. You'll see a wide range of choices from the home menu, where you can select on different items such as electrical wiring, sizes and types, which takes you to the page and gives you some basic information, and then a little bit deeper with tables having to do with the National Electrical Code, wire types and wire sizes and what the amperage ratings are. Scrolling down the page you'll see the different types of electrical wiring that are used in typical projects around the house and then the different electrical components that are used to make the connections. You'll see that we have a couple of different links at the top that will take you to a variety of menus starting with electrical pages. You'll see audio buttons that are found on various different pages to give you further information about the content of the page. See this page has information about electrical codes. Going to this menu here, we'll see the different choices available for Let's choose how many wires that we can install inside of an electrical box. Information comes up along with a table based on the National Electrical Code with information about box fill, the required space that a box uh, is necessary to have to accommodate the different wires for electrical projects. This page has information about the electrical code as it pertains to wires found in electrical junction box. The box fill table shows you the amount of wires that are allowed for the different sizes of boxes, cubic inches that are necessary to accommodate a variety of wires of different sizes. You'll also see a list of do-it-yourself electrical articles. This listing has questions and answers for a variety of topics for electrical circuits, energy saving, electrical generators, lighting, and many, many more. You'll see the question, and you'll see the answer pertaining to the question. Looking at lighting for the home will take you to a menu of different articles written about home lighting projects. These pages will show you a variety of articles and projects based on this one here happens to do with um, kitchen lighting and uh, recessed flush can lighting and the different considerations for those projects. Questions that might apply to this project and job notes that may apply also. Along with the electrical codes, tools and materials necessary for the projects. How about wiring outlets? If you have a project in your house for wiring outlets, this page comes in very handy because it has it's broken down into several different areas of the house and different types of projects. Bathroom, kitchen, dishwasher, disposal, and others as well. You want to see how a dishwasher outlet is wired? Go to the page that talks about dishwasher and garbage disposal wiring. This is a shared circuit typically found in the kitchen and this page is complete with wiring diagrams that show you how it's done along with pictures showing an actual project. Have a question about three-way switches? Our pages are filled with information having to do with three-way switches, useful resources for those, and wiring diagrams to help you figure out your switching scenario in your home. How about wiring a dimmer switch? This page shows information about installing a dimmer switch even in a three-way switch application, along with photos showing how it's done. How about four-way switching? Do you have a four-way switch that you've installed and now you've, you can't get your lights to work correctly? Well, these wiring diagrams on this page will help you see exactly how the four-way switching is wired, complete with full, fully described wiring diagrams. Want to add a telephone jack to your home? Scroll down on the wiring diagrams list so you find the telephone wiring diagram. Complete with your wiring diagram and on-the-job pictures showing how it's installed. So what about ceiling fan? How to install ceiling fan wiring? Complete with background information, basic information with a narrated uh, audio about the page and then complete with basic wiring diagrams showing you how it will be done and then it goes into 
an actual installation, showing you the necessary tools that are used, and how the ceiling fan project is wired and installed. Using the top area of the website, you can also navigate to different areas, different projects such as wiring outlets, which covers a variety of outlet applications, 110 volt and 220 volt outlet requirements as well. Let's say you got a kitchen range to replace one of the old ones and now you found that the new wiring is not the same as the old wiring. Well, We've got that taken care of as we show you the wiring diagrams and pictures to help you understand the new wiring configurations that are necessary to accommodate your new stove. We also cover wiring for clothes dryers. So the old clothes dryer finally gave out and now you've got a new one had it delivered only to find out you've got the same scenario, you've got a different wiring diagram or requirement with this new dryer. This wiring diagram shows you exactly what to do to get your dryer going and get your clothes dry. Interested in how complete home is wired? Click on the residential wiring diagrams and you'll be taken to a page that gives a full layout of an actual home that I wired recently. You'll find the red audio buttons on several pages of the website. Scrolling down this page, you'll see different areas of the room that you can go to, basically navigating room by room through a, a brand new house, and looking at the different electrical requirements for that area, along with the blueprint layout of how that area is wired. Along with the different options that you should consider, when remodeling or wiring a brand new home. This link will take us into the kitchen, show us the electrical codes required for wiring a kitchen in a modern home or upgrade in a remodel situation. With another wiring diagram as an example of how the layout is for lighting and receptacles. what the National Electrical Code requirements are for these areas, and different options that you have while doing this project. But let's not forget about safety concerns. Click on the stop sign and it shows you a safety checklist that you must consider before working with any electrical wiring. Scrolling up the page, it shows you a list of voltage testers that are necessary to identify and test electrical circuits before doing any work. As always, never work on an electrical circuit that's energized. Always make sure it's identified properly and shut off before doing any work or any service on an electrical circuit in your home. Ask the Electrician is a very big website and has lots of articles available for you. So I've installed this custom search bar that allows you to put in just about anything that you'd like to look for. So we want to search for wire size. The search result comes up with a variety of articles for you to choose from. If you still can't find what you're looking for, just find the Ask a Question icon, click on it, and you'll be taken to a question page that allows you to fill out a form and just simply submit your question to me. The audio at the top of the page will help you understand the information that I need to answer your question and prioritize it as well. Complete information helps me understand exactly what your situation is so I can give you a really good answer. While you're visiting the Ask the Electrician website, don't forget to request your free book about the top 10 electrical mistakes and how to avoid them. This book is absolutely free. and Receiving the book also makes you eligible to receive our newsletter full of free tips and information. I hope you've enjoyed this introduction to Ask the Electrician, and I look forward to seeing you at our website soon. Thank you. Just click on the link on the right-hand side of this video to go directly to our website.